everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture on YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as Moss with the Difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about the electrical activity of the heart. The electrical what? The electrical activity of the heart. For those that have not watched our previous video on the anatomy and physiology of the heart, the blood flow through the heart, kindly do that before you watch this particular video on the electrical activity of the heart. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about the electrical activity of the heart. The question usually comes like this in the exam hall. With the aid of a well labelled diagram, describe the electrical activity of the heart. Or, with the aid of a well labelled diagram, describe the conducting system of the heart. So whenever you are asked to describe something like that, just know what I'm going to tell you today is what you are going to describe. But before we go into details, there's something I would like to let you know about the heart. The heart has this property which is known as the auto -redemicity. The auto what? The auto -redemicity. What it simply means is that the heart is able to get its own impulses, it's able to produce its own impulses. The heart is not reliant on the nervous system or the hormonal system to produce its own impulses. So the heart is what it is depend it's independent of the nervous system or the endocrine system to produce its own impulses. But on the other hand, the nervous system also has a role to play in the sense that the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system aspect they either increase it or they decrease it. They either what increase the heart rate or they decrease the heart rate. Then the endocrine system, which is the hormonal system, actually stimulates it with the use of the adrenaline. They play a role in that. But one thing you should know is that the heart has what? This auto redemicity property that enables it to generate its own impulses, depolarizes itself without the help of what? The nervous system. Then that takes us to um, the electrical activity of the heart proper. There are some key words, or there are some key uh, words, yeah, key words. I would like us to take note of which we enable us remember the electrical activity of the heart. The first is the sinoatrial node. The sinoatrial node. The second is the atrioventricular node. Then the third is atrioventricular bundle, and the last is network of Purkinje fibers. I'm going to start where. This is what the sinoatrial node. This was the sinoatrial node. The sinoatrial node is also known as the pacemaker. Why is the sinoatrial node known as the pacemaker? It generates electrical impulses. It generates the impulses, the one that stimulates uh, the generation of electrical impulses. Because this cell here, this sinoatrial node, is unstable. It's excited. It is it's unstable. So it's just generating impulses. So that is why it is known as what the pace maker so this pacemaker here it is located where it is located in the atrium are you seeing now in the atrium close to where close to the superior vena cava when describing the electrical activity of the heart you have to also drop this to add to your point you have to know that the sinoatrial node is located where is located in the atrium close to the superior vena cava and the sinoatrial node is also known as the pacemaker because it is always excited, it is unstable and it generates these impulses at a rate of 60 to 80 count per, 80 count per minute. So that is that for the sinoatrial node. So when the sinoatrial node produces these impulses, it moves to where this node here. This node is known as the atrioventricular node, the AV node. The atrial what? The atrial ventricular node. This atrial ventricular node is known as a secondary pacemaker. It's known as what? It is known as the secondary pacemaker. It is located close to the atrial septum and located also close to the atrial ventricular um, valve. 
Are we seeing it now? So when these impulses are generated, it goes to this atrioventricular load. There's a delay a little around this area to enable complete filling of the ventricles. The first is what? There was a sinoatrial node followed by the atrioventricular node. From this atrioventricular node, when this thing now, this atrioventricular node now, it crosses this part, it forms your atrioventricular bundle, which is between these two ventricles and the upper part of the ventricle, your atrioventricular bundle is formed. Then this atrioventricular bundle divides into two, which is the right and the left atrioventricular bundle. The right goes to the right ventricle, while the left goes to the left uh, ventricle. Then these branches to form fibers, which is known as the network of punky J fibers. You can see all these fibers here. They are known as what? The network of punky J fibers. It is this punky J fibers that helps in the contraction of the myocardium. That's the muscle layer of the heart. So when there is contraction of this myocardium, it pushes blood either to the pulmonary artery or from here it pushes blood to the aorta so that is why i advise us to watch the video on the blood flow through the heart remember the impulses are generated we're in the sinoatrial node from the sinoatrial node to your atroventricular node from the atroventricular node to the atroventricular bundle which divides into the right and left atroventricular bundle then a network of punky fibers is formed it is this punky G fibers that helps in the contraction of the myocardium that helps to push this blood, that helps to lift this blood out of the ventricles to either the pulmonary artery or the aorta. I hope this video actually helped you to understand the electrical activity of the heart. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. And before I go, for those that have not subscribed to our Telegram voice note class, you are missing a lot. Because at our Telegram class, you have access to all our voice notes on the various system. Cardiovascular system, respiratory system, digestive system, community health, research, management. You have access to all these voice notes that makes learning easy and accessible for you. Thank you very much once again and do have a wonderful day ahead. See you in our next video.